Jojo from Osplit here with Drew Hunter, uh, 2015 champion here this year as a regional leader. Yeah. What's that? What's that feel like? He's famous. <laughs> it's it's great. No, it's it's cool to come back and not have to worry about competing and just kind of enjoy the competition and watch a race for a change. So yeah, I'm excited to be here and it's great to be back in beautiful San Diego. So no is complaints. It, is it a little surreal? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's I never thought I'd be coming to Foot Locker to not race so yeah. it's 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 pretty it's different but I mean it's a, it's fun to be back here and enjoy the enjoy the weather and everything. Who are your picks to win tomorrow? Um girls I'm gonna go with Nevada boys I think Noah so those are those are my picks um no bias or anything just <laughs> just who I think is gonna win. Yeah <laughs> do you have you do you find yourself still following the, the high school scene? Yeah I mean my mom coaches and my mom and both my parents coach so I'll run with the boys occasionally, and they're a pretty good team, um, my old high school team now, so I'll like, keep up with them and uh, pay attention mainly Virginia and stuff like that, but I do pay attention a good bit to the national stuff. So. And uh, you were just at NXN last weekend, mm -hmm. one of your former teammates, Missouri State, right? Yeah, yeah, no, Peter, he ran great. Uh, it was his first like big national meet, so he held his own, and hopefully the team will be back next year. So. Um, yeah, I think that was the goal of making it this year. Unfortunately, they were third, so one spot away. But next year, hope they're returning their entire top five, so be good. Now, what would you think? Uh, we're obviously at, at Foot Locker now, mm -hmm. but would you think being at that event and you know wondering what it would have been like maybe to go with your team? Yeah, I mean, it would have been. I mean, I definitely, if we had a good enough team to make it when I was there, definitely would have done it because I think it's great for the team atmosphere and vibe but uh, I think individually here it's really special and I think they treat uh, the individuals here like just just a great experience to come here and not have a team but also be kind of a part of a team so um, yeah I really like the experience here but I can't speak for Nike yeah. so um, and you, you just said a 5k PR right yeah the turkey track yeah yeah no it's great I mean not really training for that or anything and my coach just decided hey you want to run this 5k and I was like sure and so I set like a 24 second PR so it was good to run on the roads and it's different but um, it was fun. <laughs> Did you go in with any expectations of time or placement at all? Not really I just kind of wanted to see where I was at in training I just kind of I took a break after my last race in the summer and um, just kind of been building back up so it's just kind of like to break up my training and see what type of shape I'm in. So I'm in better shape than I was during last year's cross country season. And I haven't been training nearly as long, so I'm on, I'm in a good spot right now. What are your What's next for you? Um, I'll have some indoor races end of January. I'll probably open up and then I'll run uh, Mill Rose for sure, um, and then after that, hopefully one or two more races. So yeah, just kind of low key, three or four races for indoors, not anything out of the picture, but hopefully I'll run a 3K, so that'll be fun. Okay, mm -hmm. so hopefully 3K meaning you'll be focusing on a mile indoors? Yeah, I'll run the mile okay. two or three times and then maybe one, one 3K. That's the, that's the plan, it's just finding races and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any plans for outdoors yet or just the next few months? Just, you know, stay healthy, train and get through indoors and then see how I run, see how I'm competing, see how I'm adjusting to the pro racing circuit and then um, yeah, and then outdoors, I mean, I want to focus on the 1500, but I'll probably run one, two, five Ks just to see what I can do in that. What's the biggest adjustment <clears throat> been uh, to live in a pro lifestyle? Um, I think the biggest adjustment has been just not being in school. It's uh, like, I mean, adjustment hasn't been, because I'm staying at home, I have the same coach, uh, living in the same, the same house, so all that isn't different, but just having, uh, not having school and having a lot more time to do other things like cross train, like weights and all that stuff. So lots of like, that's probably been the biggest adjustment is just having like being able to do a lot more things to help me get better at running. So which is nice. I'm not complaining at all about that. So yeah. how has your training changed? Um, not really any. I mean, I'm running a little bit more than I have been in the past, but really it's kind of the same. Just running a little bit more, which I've done every year. Just kind of run a little bit. Wrote a bit longer on easy runs and right. we'll make workouts a few reps longer. So, but yeah, pretty much that that's been the biggest change. And then I've started to like try to cross train two or three times a week. I've started to consistently like lift weights two or three times a week. So just trying to do like a lot of the other little things um, to try to get a little faster. Oh, well, yeah. thanks a lot. We'll see if your picks yeah. come true tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs>
Thanks. Thanks, Joe.